Yeah, we're, um, you know, we're, there's a more focus on it of, of trying to, you know, get off the football better, um, you know, put guys in better situations and, you know, not running by the quarterback. And, and this week in itself is going to be an incredible challenge because of the escapability of, of you know, Penn State's quarterback, Sean Clifford. Um, you know, I think that, you know, we've done some things in terms of line movements and stunts, but there have been a lot of really good one-on-one -on -one wins, and, and that's been great to see. Uh, we were a very talented group up front, as I've stated before, uh, with a lot of depth, and a lot of guys can go in there and create the pressure. S you know, rotating guys in, keeping them fresh in situations against Indiana, for example, they were going fast tempo, and we were able to slow the game down with subbing some guys in and, and getting as many fresh bodies in as we could. And therefore, you had quite a few guys with the production that they had. Um, you know, I think it's a combination of, of the guys, you know, starting to get into a rhythm of, of how they want to use their strengths and, and, and attack the weakness of the offensive lineman, along with some schematic things that, you know, Coach Minner and, and uh, the rest of the staff have come up with. Yeah, the, the, the beginning is, is uh, you know, what we didn't want to do is put too much on his plate. You know, that was, that was evident. You know, we wanted him to be able to be comfortable in the system, and, and we do a lot of things defensively here. So, you know, you can overload him with, uh, you know, utilize him in your base package, your nickel package, your third down package. Like, you know, you have to pick and choose what you want to utilize him in just because he can become overwhelming and you're not going to get much out of a, a young guy like that that, you know, first time in the system and a few weeks in. So. Um, the conversations were pretty general and just making sure that he understood the technique that we were going to use in certain situations. And then now we're really this far into it. Now it's in depth of, you know, aiming points and, and what we want to look at. And I mean, just more in depth detail of, of the actual plan. Yeah, it's a lot of it's based on the opponent. You know, it's going to be what, what we feel is their weakness. And, um, you know, whether it be a personnel, you know, someone up front for them or, um, protection weakness and then obviously uh, combining that with the strengths of our guys and, and, and you know pressuring the guys that have had production or that can give us production so it's a combination of both but uh, you know you're always trying to, to find the weaknesses and, and, and find what your strengths are and, and try to match those two together. What kind of effect do you think it creates because you're not actually sending extra rushers I mean you're able to kind of create the same effect with, with just four guys. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, um, you know, it, it keeps the offense for sure from, uh, you know, just being vanilla. They're going to have to really study how we're doing things and where we're putting people. And um, it also, it's a great buy-in for the guys. Like, you know, everybody wants to get a sack, you know. It's not just for defensive linemen. So when you're pressuring linebackers that are really good at it and they can finish on the quarterback, like that's, that's, that's adding value to them. But it's also excitement, like that's, pretty cool for a, a second level or third level player to get a sack.